course of our everyday life, we are constantly forgetting things. For instance, sometimes a secretary forgets to take out the boss's mail, and sometimes a boss forgets to take out his secretary. Then again, there are husbands who forget what the little woman told them not to forget. And of course, there's the guy who can forget most anything, including his pants. Dear, dear. History records that Stanley's immortal words on meeting Livingstone in Africa were, Dr. Livingstone, I presume. Yet, I'm told that Stanley searched the jungle for Livingstone two years, and that when he finally did find him, this is what actually happened. Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, my name Oh, is... don't, don't tell me. I've got it. It's right on the tip of my tongue. It's Dr. Really, uh, I know, I know, I know. Well, skip it. Let's proceed. A rather common lapse of memory is to forget a name. This becomes most disturbing when, like the handsome but confused gentleman here, you're trying to introduce people. If, when you first hear a name, you will concentrate and apply some mental gymnastics to ensure such concentration, embarrassing situations like this could be avoided. And just what does a person do to remember names? Well, one way is to use mental association. For instance, his name is Barker. You'll always identify this face with the name of Barker if you make a mental picture of it doing this. Well, to continue, remembering things to do is simple when you have a system. Here, Mrs. Blimp is giving her husband ten assignments for the afternoon. Lavette, stop at Stacy's and pick up my corset. Get your tope from the hairdresser. Hours pass, and Mr. Blimp returns to his storm and strife. What's more, he didn't forget a single thing. And how did Blimp remember everything? Well, again, it's a trick of mental association. If you'll follow me closely, you too will be able to remember Mr. Blimp's ten assignments. Now forget everything else and just think of the key objects to rhyme with numbers from 1 to 10, which I'll give you. It's easy. Look. Whenever you think of number 1, make a mental picture of a bun. 1 equals bun. Please concentrate on that. 1 is bun. Now then, Mr. Blimp's assignment number 1 was to see the dentist. So we'll put the dentist in the bun and visualize him like this. Had Mr. Blimp's first assignment been to buy a herring, we'd have visualized the herring in the bun. However, just remember this picture of the dentist. Whenever you think of number two, visualize this picture of an old shoe. Two is shoe. Got it? Assignment number two was to get some roses. So, just visualize this picture of roses growing out of the shoe and you'll remember it easily. When you think of three, picture this Christmas tree. Three is tree. Assignment number three, bring home a rolling pin. Let's picture the rolling pin like this on top of the tree. Four is door. Assignment four was to bring home Junior's bicycle. So, we'll picture the bike hanging on that hook on the door. Five is hive. Assignment number five was to bring home the dog, so concentrate on this picture. Six is pictured as bricks, one on top of the other like this. Six is bricks. Assignment six was to buy a tie. Let's visualize the tie on the bricks thus. Seven is heaven. Remember that, seven is heaven. Assignment seven was to hire a cook. It should be easy to remember seven, heaven, cook, from this picture. Eight is plate. Eight is plate. Assignment eight was to buy a hammer. We'll just imagine a hammer on the plate. That's an easy picture to remember. If not, maybe this will make it easier. Nine is swine. That should be easy. Nine is swine. As assignment number nine, Mrs. Blimp told her husband to pick up her corset at the store. So let's form this picture as an easy one to remember. Ten is hen. 
Assignment 10 was to bring home Mr. B's toupee. By visualizing the hen pecking his ball paint dust, Blimp found it easy to remember his toupee. Well, folks, as mentioned before, like Mr. B, you too can remember and become popular. It's really a cinch. For instance, let's try Blimp's assignments. Ready? Here goes. What was Blimp's assignment number one? One is bun. And who did we put in the bun? Of course. One, bun, dentist. See the dentist. And what was Blimp's assignment number two? That's right. Two is shoe, which brought to mind roses. Sure, bring home roses. And what was assignment number three? That's right, three is tree. Rolling pin on tree, bring home rolling pin. Easy. And what was assignment number four? Four, door, bicycle. Bring home Junior's bike. And what was the fifth thing Blimp had to do? Correct. Five is hive, and we put Fido in the hive to remind us to bring home the pooch. Assignment number six. Right. Six. Bricks. Tie on bricks. Buy a tie. And what was seven? Yes, sir. Seven. Heaven. Cook. Hire a cook. What was eight? Sure, eight, plate, hammer on plate, buy a hammer. And what was nine? Indeed, nine, swine, swine wearing corset, bring home Mrs. B's corset. And finally, what was assignment 10? Swell, 10 was hen. A picture of a hen pecking Blimp's ball pate reminded him to bring home his toupee. There you are, my friends. An easy way to remember. Try it out. It works. Well, here we go again, chillin'. Wonder how Stanley's getting along. Oh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh... Dr. Livingston. I presume. Why, of course it is. Oh, we have a message for you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy Good night, all. Thank <laughs> you.